Hello and thanks for joining into another video. Today's video is going to be about the four most important upgrades I've made to the bike. If that's of interest, stay tuned. Right, so upgrades. It's a big topic in the Brompton community. Lots and lots of options and lots and lots of different people with different ideas out there. So what I'm basically talking about is the four things that I've done to the bike that for me make the biggest difference. Uh, the four things I'd least want to be without from the standard Brompton, if you like. Uh, I was gonna try and put these in some sort of order of preference or importance, but uh, when I thought about it, it's not really possible to do um, because they're all important really and they've all definitely made a difference i guess the the least important if you like would be the tires uh, the tires i have fitted are the continental there we go contact urbans now i've had these fitted um what about four months um Definite advantages over my previous tyres, which were uh, marathons, Schwalbe marathons and Schwalbe marathon pluses is what I've run in the past. I've also had standard Brompton tyres. Um, the biggest advantage for me is that, well, one, they're less expensive. They don't cost as much, certainly, as a uh, marathon plus. Uh, they're lighter. And I've had them fitted, as I say, about three months now, maybe a little bit longer. Um, no punctures, no issues. They even seem to hold the air pressure better than the marathons. Um, can't explain that, I don't know the reason for that. If you do, leave a comment, let me know. But yeah, um, the, the marathons and most puncture resistant tires have a thicker rubber layer and then uh, another layer underneath of um, basically neoprene plastic. I believe, uh, which is more puncture resistant. Um, and it, it, it results in a relatively heavy, uh, poor rolling tire. These roll brilliantly. Um, I, I'm not normally one to sort of spout the benefits of, of different tires. I've tried different tires in the past and barely seen the difference. But with these, absolutely bang on. Uh, can't fault them. Had them about three months, done a couple of thousand miles some heavily laden miles as well if you know me watch my videos you'll know i do a bit of touring and such so yeah the contact urban continental contact urban tires they've been spot on for me okay um and it's it's pretty pretty much a free upgrade if you wait until your existing tires need replacing then you're going to spend the money anyway so it's a free upgrade how can you go wrong the others, the next things, really, two things that um, both relate to comfort. The grips. You can see they're a, a little bit battered and worn, but they're Ergon GP3 grips in cork. Now, cork's not essential, but I like the cork because I often ride without gloves, and the cork is antibacterial. It doesn't seem to get as sweaty as other grips and, and such. I like the GP3s because this is about as long as you can get it without it interfering with the fold. Um, you're a little bit restricted as to um, the angle that you can get here because of the fold. Having said which, the angle that I've got is perfect for me anyway, so not an issue. Um, these come in about £50 a pair, so they're, they're not the, the cheapest of grips, but they're not the most expensive either. Um, and yeah, for me, um, particularly because I do a lot of longer riding as well, absolutely wouldn't be without the Ergon grips. So that's the grips. The next thing on comfort is the saddle. And as you can see there, I've got the Brooks. And that's a cambium c17 it's the carved edition um, i'm not sure it's essential for the carved edition but i prefer that when i can get it just uh, for me just gives a little bit more comfort there's a little bit more giving the saddle because of the cut out there 
But Brooks saddles again, it's it's something that seems to be like Marmite, you either love them or hate them. But Brooks sell a hell of a lot of saddles and I've tried several different types and makes of saddle and for me you absolutely cannot be a Brooks saddle for comfort. I also have the Brooks B17 um, Special which uh, came with the bike when I got it. Um, equally if not more comfortable than this one. Um, just brilliant saddles, if, uh, particularly if you're doing longer distances. If you're just using the bike for what it, it's sort of meant for, if you like, commuting around town short distances and you're happy with the current saddle, by all means stay with it. But if, particularly if you're doing longer distances, if you don't find the existing saddle particularly comfortable on longer distances, then for me, the Brooks saddles, whichever one you go for, I've tried the Cambiums, obviously, and also the leather, and for me, you can't go wrong. So, Brooks saddle, number three. I've saved the last one until last, <laughs> strangely enough, and it's, it's this, the Dynamo. Now, mine being a slightly older bike, as the sun, I'm trying to just get that there. Sun, Dynamo. Um, I've been caught out without lights in strange cities at night, no lights, riding in the rain. I wasn't a happy bunny. It's scary, it's it may or may not be illegal depending on where you are. For me, it's not a place I want to be again. That ensures that I've always got lights. Always got lights. Comes in a kit. You can buy it with the bike if you're lucky enough to be able to get one spec that way with the way things are at the moment but normally you can buy it with the bike if you're buying second hand there are lots of bromptons already have them fitted it's a different hub they fit now it's the um it escapes me but it, it's a similar specification to this it comes with the lights front and rear this is a pretty easy kit to fit not difficult at all I've also added this, which is a sine wave revolution, um, USB charger. Um, again, that's more because I do the touring and such, but I can plug uh, chargeable devices into there and get three power as well for that while I'm riding the bike to power up my uh, devices. I usually use it for a power bank, actually, is what I have used it for. Um, charge the power bank and then charge devices from that. So that's that. Um, yeah, comes in kit form. It's the most expensive ed edition. I think the kit now comes in around £170 in the UK. Um, but you get everything you need for that. The, you get a new wheel with the hub fitted. You get the lights, the wiring, and even the uh, tie wraps there to secure it. So, yeah, that's the, uh, the, the hub dynamo. I've got to say, honestly, those four additions to the bike, for me at least, make a massive difference, and particularly when it comes to touring. Um, I wouldn't want to be without any of those additions, really. Um, the one I could least do without was the tyres, but um, I say, they're, a free, they're a free addition as I see it. Just replace your existing tyres and away you go. So yeah, four most important upgrades I've made for the Brompton. Hope that's useful for you. If it is, you want to see more con Brompton material, have a look at my site, give me a like, that helps, um, helps me with the channel immensely. Do appreciate that. And if you've not already subscribed, then uh, please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.